I just folded this really nice box in a box model. You can f see the uh, tutorial for that from Happy Puppy Truffles uh, YouTube channel, which I will post a link for you. Uh, this is a really nice um, kind of a interior box in a box model. Now, a lot of people who saw this tutorial were interested in knowing uh, how big it, the model is and how big the interior dimensions are. So I did some calculations really quick and I'll share those with, with you. Uh, first off, depending upon how you want to go about it, you can either start from the size of the paper you have and figure out the final dimensions or you know what you want to put in the box and so you want to know what size piece of paper you want to use. And we'll start off that way. Uh, as you can see, this is, uh, well, it's supposed to be a square and so each side is the same and each side is going to be one quarter the size of your original square. So um, to figure out the size of paper you will need, you figure out how long you want uh, each of these sides to be and you multiply that by four. So if you want uh, each side to be say uh, 10 centimeters, then you'll take 10 times 4 so that gives you you need a piece of paper 40 centimeters big in order to make these sides 10 centimeters the height here is exactly one half of one of these sides so a 10 centimeter side will give you a 5 centimeter height for those who liked doing the math uh, that's one eighth of the length of the paper or uh, you multiply the length by 0.125. Uh, so to sum up really quick, each of these side, you figure out how long the side you want to be and you multiply that by four and that will give you the size of the paper you need to start with. Now, if you wanna go the other way and you have a piece of paper and you wanna know, well, how big are the dimensions, I'll go over those for you really quick as well. Um, as I mentioned before, each one of these sides is 0.25 times the length of your starting piece of paper. The height here is going to be 0.125 times the length of your original piece of paper. Now, the other dimensions uh, that you'll be of interest is this length here of the box, which is 0.375 times the length of your starting square. Uh, this right here, uh, we actually already know because this is the same length as your interior box. So that's 0.25 times your original square length. So with those uh, cute little formulas, you should be able to come up with either the size of paper you would need to start with, knowing what you're gonna put in it, or you have your piece of paper and you just want to know what size it will be, uh, you can use those formulas for that as well. Hopefully that helps.